Hi, second graders and families. This is Miss England. Today, I'm going to have a short lesson about adding and subtracting two and three digit numbers. This is a skill that we've been practicing all year long and is so important to get ready for third grade. Before we start, let's read our lesson objective together. Ready, begin. I can add and subtract two and three digit numbers. How can I add and subtract two and three digit numbers? We've learned a lot of different strategies throughout this year, but today I'm gonna to review two really great ones. The first is using base 10 blocks, and the second is the strategy we learned just before we left school, which was the standard algorithm. To review base 10 blocks, we're gonna watch two short videos. 348 has three hundreds. Four, Four tens. tens. And, and eight, eight ones. ones. Now, now let's, let's build, build 234 using, using our base 10 blocks. blocks. 234 has two, has two hundreds. Three, three tens. tens. And, and four, four ones. ones. Now, now because, because we're, we're super, super smart, smart mathematicians, mathematicians, we have, we have to, to organize our base, base 10 blocks in rows, rows of five, five because, because that makes, makes them easier to count. count. So, so let's, let's start, start with, with our, our ones. ones. Now, now that, that we, we have, have our ones, ones organized, organized in rows of five, five let's, let's look, look at our tens. Now, now that, that our tens, tens are organized, organized in rows of five, five let's, let's organize, organize our, our hundreds. hundreds. So, so now, now that we, we have our blocks, blocks organized, organized this, this leaves, leaves us with five hundreds, seven tens, and, and twelve ones. <coughs> we can't we have, have twelve ones, ones. So, so that, that means, means we need to do something different. different. What, what we, we need, need to do is called regrouping. This, this means that we need to regroup 10 ones and, and trade them for one 10. ten. So, so let's, let's look, look at how, how this happens. happens. We're, We're going, going to trade 10, ten ones and regroup them into one 10. ten. So, so after, after we, we have, have traded, traded 10, ten ones, ones for, for one, one ten, ten, this leaves, leaves us with five hundreds, eight, eight tens, tens, and two ones. So the sum of our equation, 348 plus 234, is 582. Next, let's draw a representation of a three-digit addition problem with regrouping. Let's, Let's look, look at the at equation, equation 314 plus 267. 267. We'll start, start by drawing the number 314, 314 using blue. 314 has three hundreds, one ten, and, and four ones. ones. Next, Next, let's, let's draw, draw 267, 267 using, using pink. pink. 267, 267 has 200, 200 six tens, and, and seven, seven ones. This, this leaves, leaves us with 500, seven tens, and 11 ones. But, but we, we can't, can't have, have 11, 11 ones, ones, so that, that means that, that we need to regroup. Let's, Let's take 10 of the ones and trade them for 1, 10. Now, now that, that we, we have regrouped or traded, or traded 10 ones for 1, 10, we, we now have 500, 8 tens. 
So next, we are going to watch an even shorter video about how to subtract using base 10 blocks. How can, how can we, we use base, base 10, 10 blocks, blocks to subtract? Let's, Let's look at 85 minus 62. We can use base, base 10 blocks to represent 85. 8 tens and 5 ones. Start by subtracting the ones. Can we take 2 ones away from 5 ones? Yes. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. We have 3 ones left. Now we subtract the tens. Can we take 6 tens away from 8 tens? Yes. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. We have 2 tens left. What is the difference? There are 2 tens and 3 ones left. 85 minus 62 is equal to 23. Let's, Let's look at another, another example. 42, 42 minus 36. We, we can use base 10 blocks to represent 42. 42. Four tens and two ones. Start by subtracting the ones. Can we take six ones away from two ones? No. There are not enough ones. We can trade one ten for ten ones. Now there are six ones left. Now, now we subtract, subtract the tens. tens. Can, Can we, we take three tens, tens away from three tens? Yes. yes. There, there are zero tens left. left. What is the difference? There are zero tens and six ones left. 42 minus 36 equals 6. In this video, you learn to subtract two-digit numbers using base 10 blocks. So those are two great lessons on how to use base 10 blocks to add and subtract two and three digit numbers. Now we're going to review our second strategy using the standard algorithm. So parents, this is the strategy that you will be most familiar with. So for two digit addition with no regrouping, we always start in the ones place. When we add six plus three, that equals nine. We do not need to regroup. So we can go on and add the tens place. 4 plus 3 equals 7. So 46 plus 33 equals 79. Now some of the problems will need to regroup. So when we're using the standard algorithm, again, we start in the ones place. 7 plus 6 equals 13. The number 13 has a 1 in the tens place. So we need to put that up in the tens place. We need to regroup and carry the 1. So now when we add our tens, we have 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Same thing for subtraction. There will be some times where you do not need to regroup and sometimes when you do. So for example, 46 minus 29, 6 minus 9, we do not have enough 1, so we need to borrow. We need to borrow 110. So the four tens becomes three, and add that 10 to the ones place. Six plus 10 equals 16. Now we have enough ones. 16 minus nine equals seven. And then we go to the tens place. Three minus two equals one. If you received a learning pack from your teacher last week, in the week two packet, there are three different pages front and back with some great addition and subtraction two and three digit practice. Please check these out, send pictures to your teachers. We would love to hear how you're doing. Some additional practice. You can complete the four problems shown. You can make up your own problems and just make sure that you have some with regrouping. And tell, teach someone at your house how to add and subtract with regrouping. And again, you can complete the pages from your week two packet. We would love to hear how you're doing. Please send a picture or a video of your learning to your teachers. Thanks so much.